guys. <clears throat> Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House here. Um, we just had one heck of a windstorm yesterday. So I wanted to come over, check on the tiny house, and go from there. So I'm just going to light this cinnamon tea candle up, see how well it works. Um, but anyway... Yeah, I got some vacuuming and stuff to do here. The outside of the tiny house survived. Uh, apparently on the news we had, um, it was tropical storm, tropical storm uh, rated winds. That's how powerful they were. Um, but tiny house is still here. Nothing felt flew off of it. Though it did give me, um, Kind of gave me second guess, uh, well, made me second guess putting the solar panels up there on the roof, but it's actually slowed me down on progress with that because it's been windy, cold, and I just can't get up there to go on with things. Um, temperature 5.8 Celsius, 49% humidity. That's about where you want your humidity level maybe even a little lower 40 percent um that's not too bad with no heat in here guys so those um radiant foil barriers are working unbelievably i can't even believe that stuff works but there you go um i gotta do some vacuuming in here uh because of the i got some little white particles from the packaging for my um, horizon workout machine we got the little candle going here I put it in the clay pot hey guys Rob from the off-grid tiny house uh, my hair looks kind of gnarly um, just wanted to do this quick little video for you guys uh, wanted to let you know that uh, it's kind of a big moment um, I have now officially recouped all the money that I put into the um, off-grid tiny house which is good um, so any money I spent in the building process or uh, buying materials or other things or solar or stuff like that for it um, I have now recruit recouped all that money via um, frugal living and um via the dollar store or dollar tree as i could say well both of them and uh just working and doing my day job so that's kind of a nice moment um i recouped all of my money for it um all the work i've done all the progress i made so that's kind of big so just wanted to put that out there for you guys let you know and uh right on just to be on the safe side see how well that works but other than that the tiny house survived another nasty nasty friggin setup oh i should check the uh the storage room here just to make sure everything's cool i'll turn this light on uh, da, da, da. Yeah, everything seems okay. No leaks. It wasn't really raining anyway. It was uh, just the wind. Nothing fell over. Nothing got knocked down. Um, which is a good thing. And hopefully my accountant, when he gets done vacationing, he's doing... He retired, so he's pretty much going hard on vacations. And uh, he's still going to do a handful of his clients. Um, including us, but I just I'm kind of eager to see what he wants to do with the the stuff over there, so I can continue on with the tiny house. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just do some vacuuming, guys. It's not gonna be too exciting for you, but what what, what else can we do, right? So. Let me set you up, find you a good spot somewhere. You guys should be able to see all the action. Not like it's very exciting. Um, where'd my vacuum go? Oh, over here. 
Yeah, if there's a nice little spot for it under the, behind the door. should bore you guys pretty badly so yeah it's been a while I haven't been here in actually a week guys believe it or not because of uh, just the crappy weather and we have been a little busy so that's always good and I got some more stuff coming from wish.com um, to help me uh, some survival stuff, some entertainment stuff. I didn't bust the bank or anything on that. But, uh, yeah. Should actually take this rag and clean up a bit. Look at all this. All this stuff's coming from. Now you have to vacuum again. That's okay, because the vacuum's here. Um, yeah, so... Just kind of checking on things, guys. Nothing really exciting to report on the tiny house end. Um, I wish there was. No, uh, I don't have any pra Patreons yet. Um, so be sure to uh, become a Patreon member, guys. Um... The links in the description below it's the very first link and you can uh, hook that up for me and that'll be nice and then I can get some more stuff done hopefully over here uh, yeah so I haven't been over here for a week which means I haven't been using this guy for a week which is a big no-no I need to be on him daily uh, but because of the weather and the the work and everything, I kind of la la lapsed into not doing that. So that kind of sucks. And, uh, yeah. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all these posters, too. These have been there since I moved everything. Uh, don't know if I'm keeping them or what. But, yeah, I'll have to set up the survival blanket, though. I wanted to maybe do a night over here. I set the survival blanket up across the back here. Whoops, you guys can't see me. Set the survival blanket up across the back here. And then drape down a plastic drop sheet on, the, like, an angle. Going, just covering the bed. And then when the flames or the radiant heat from the uh, fireplace shoots back here it'll be trapped inside the plastic bouncing around and in the bed so keeping everybody nice and toasty warm so that's the the plan anyway I think I think that'll be okay hopefully that paint didn't freeze hopefully not um, I had it up off the floor so because the floor does get cool, but higher up, that's not going to be too bad for it. Um, oh, yeah, I think I mentioned this a while ago. Over here at the tiny house, there's a couple holes that are not all the way through on this side yet. I think they're right about here near my IBC totes. Um... That's where I can run the wires from the solar panels. That'll be right here. I'm only going to put the two up, I think, for now. And those each will run a power pack, and then I'll have to run the wires through here. And then hopefully the wires are long enough where I could send the... Maybe I can run the wires along the top here and down and put a little stand. Uh, I might move my TV stand over here just for a temporary setup so I can have my power packs right here 
um, with charge controllers being charged, so that would make the tiny house permanently off-grid with its own power. And then I can also plug in close to the, st the heat source and my uh, elliptical right there as well. And charge cameras and everything else that I need to be done. So that sounds cool. I don't think I smell any cinnamon yet. Not really. So yeah, this is kind of just a uh, a plain video, guys. Nothing really exciting for you. Um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah. Not much else to share, guys. It's kind of lame. But, uh... Oh. Yeah, one of my fans, which I'll show you back at the house, is uh, no longer working. And it's the original fan I bought from Dollarama. It's some kind of electrical failure connection. Because, uh... Yeah. Hey, guys. Um just wanted to show you this is the original um, USB powered uh, fan that I bought from Dollarama now this model has the removable uh, I, I don't know what they call these just plug I guess and this guy I has been acting up on me now, if you guys remember, I paid $3 for this guy at the Dollarama store, and then I went in search of more of these and couldn't find them, so I had to order them through China on eBay or whatever, wherever, so I did that. So I'm going to use my new um, uh, power pack. I have ran my um, other black USB fan that came from China through eBay. Um and it ran for five hours on this thing so pretty crazy five hours straight so uh, i'm just going to show you as a demo here what's going on now in order to use this power pack i got to press this button and uh there goes my fan now the fan is super quiet but watch this See how it stops? See, and if I adjust the back connection, that that plug that I showed you, I twist, I turned it. Now you can hear it. It's got a lot more better blow. And I think I have a, a bad electrical issue connection problem here. So right now, it's doing its thing. But let's say if I, tur I'll turn the fan like this and look I hardly touched it and the, the power is not going so if I turn this turn my connector around and hit that spot hit that sweet spot again hopefully I can activate it no it's not going to So as you can see, this is what I've been dealing with with this fan. Um, this hasn't happened to my any of my newer black fans because this was never um, in, this was built into the fan. This was this is a different model. So this was um, see this this power thing is still on. I believe. Yeah, there's a little blue light right there and there. Look. Okay, it came on. Now if I touch this, will it keep going? Now, if I turn the camera around a little bit and show you guys. Here, I'll zoom in. Okay, so if I move this, this connector right here watch what happens see the fan stopped the blue light is still on the power pack so it's getting power but it's some kind of see now I can't even 
oh, if I turn, I turned it around a bit, and now it's going. So, I may have to take something apart here, guys, to fix this, but it should be a good learning experience to see um, what I can do. Um, or I can just kind of mess with it and don't touch it. Just get it to the certain spot, like where it's at, and leave it like this. But eventually, it's going to totally, you know, seize out on me. Um, I can I can pull that out, and I'll blow on this uh, plug. I don't know if maybe some material got in there. I doubt it. And then inside... I don't see anything that would cause that. No, oh, did the power button go out? Yeah, it did. Power went out on my power pack, so we'll... There. So, see how I gotta kinda play with this damn thing? But luckily, I haven't been using this in the fireplace or anything. So all those fans are still working. But just wanted to show you what's going on with this thing. Alright, that's it for now. Oh yeah, you can see my breath. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the floor is not too bad. I'm in socks. I don't even have the slippers on. But yeah, I'll have to show you that fan back at the house and uh, all the craziness that's going on with it. But other than that, um, the, uh, my parents' house survived the windstorm. Okay, our barbecue got knocked over. Uh, the handle got busted off the front of it because it's just plastic anyway. Probably brittle over time. Um, so that was a mess to clean up. Uh, and that was the extent of the damage. A lot of other people got hit with um, some really severe shingle damage on their roofs. Um, they had trees falling on cars. They had, uh, oh yeah, it was insane. Um, I'm surprised the tiny house has no damage. Um, but then again, you know, what are you gonna say? I'm getting a weird reflection. Oh, that's the uh, spin thing up there. That spinner. Here, I don't know if you can pick that up on the wall. Yeah, you can. You can see it on the viewfinder. Right there. Looks like a strobe light, right? It's the... Um, there's a little... Uh, one of those roof vents. Wind powered? I bet that thing was going yesterday during this windstorm. Oh my god. Insane.